Hey folks, Dan Bell here from Intigent. Today I want to go over really briefly the copy and delete functionality in Project for the Web, as well as a mechanism in, uh, by which you can use templates within Project for the Web. So as is the case, you, you notice that I typically demonstrate <clears throat> if there are deltas between using the default instance and a custom instance, uh, I'm going to go and point those out. And of course, there's going to be a difference in this particular case as well. All right? So notice we're in my Project for the Web homepage here. And as you can see the source, right, we have different sources here. When it has the word project in front of it, just the word project, um, and then whether it's followed by something or not, uh, project means it's a project for the web project. If it says PWA, that means it's a project online. Therefore, you can see projects that are in project for the web, and these are all these projects here. The one that has nothing after it is basically my default instance, and the one that has project for the web 102, that basically means it's in a custom instance, okay? Let's take a quick look at how's it, how's this function in um, in the default instance, and we can go ahead and we'll open up this alert project that I used in a previous demonstration. Here's the project, pretty simple thing here. If you look in the top right, there is an ellipsis with more actions. If I select that, you'll notice that the function here is copy project. When you do copy the project, it does not copy over all the assignments and so forth. Um, but if you want to, you, know, you can, of course, recreate those assignments and you can also copy over the group, the O365 group and all those people that are in members of the group as well to kind of simplify that process. But let's go ahead and copy this real briefly. And uh, there it is, made the copy. And as you can see, it didn't bring over the assigned resource, which was Daniel Shackerford, as you know from previous demonstrations. Again, that ellipsis, right? Copy again if you want to. Well, how do you delete it? You know, the, the delete's not readily available there. Well, if I actually go into project details, there's another ellipsis in here. And when I locate that ellipsis, you'll notice there's the delete project functionality right there. I'll go ahead and select that. Of course, I'm going to get a confirmation. Go ahead and select delete. And now we just went ahead and deleted that project. So that takes care of the default environment. How does it look in the other environment? Well, the first thing I want to point out is let's go ahead and open a a custom environment project in the default interface and we'll open um, it will just open my alert 102 for instance how's that and here's the project remember the ellipsis in the top right and notice that copy project is disabled right it's grayed out we can't do it here and let's go ahead and navigate to project details and select the ellipsis again and again notice delete project is disabled as well and again that is because we are in the the default interface, but we are accessing a project that is in a custom environment. So I'll go back to home here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to my project power app interface. And there's a couple ways to get there. I can either navigate this way. And you notice I'm in the environment project for the web 102, and then I can go ahead and click the start button here and it'll go ahead and launch my project power apps. And in here I can navigate to the project. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll navigate to my project list. And I remember it was my alert project 102 that I was utilizing here. I can go ahead and select the check mark in front of that, click edit. And then if you recall from other demos in Project Power App, you have a tasks tab, and it's in the task tab where we access the work breakdown structure that is very similar to the default interface. You know, you see the board, grid, timeline, charts, people, goals, and assignments. And there's that ellipsis there. If I click on more actions here, you can see team files and so forth. But notice there's nothing there in this case. Well, that's because the functionality is changed to the location. There is a ribbon of functionality up here, some buttons up here, and one of those buttons is copy project. This is where you would actually select to copy the project, right? So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll copy it. And it takes a little bit longer because we're actually copying quite a bit more data here. We're copying all the data in the Dataverse that's part of these different tabs. Um, and then again, you can see we have my alert project 102 copy. So the project has been copied here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll click the save button here. It takes a moment. Uh, in my experience, I've noticed it takes a moment to copy any of the tasks over. It looks like it did it. They're complete. Uh, again, no assigned to resources as we expect right from before. No tasks complete as we expect from before. Again, we'll just go ahead and save it for good measure. How do you delete it? Well, delete's pretty easy. You probably noticed it. In that same little toolbar above, there's also a delete button here. If I click that, 
I'll get prompted, do you want to delete this project in? Absolutely, I do. Let's go ahead and terminate it. And you can see the processing is taking place. The project's being deleted. If I go back to my project list, you'll see I have the default my alert project 102, but not the other 102 dash copy. Great. All right. So next thing I wanted to show briefly is, well, how, how could you utilize templates in the system? Well, you can definitely use the copy project functionality, but you can take it one step further than that. Okay. Uh, if you want to utilize projects as templates, that's great. But the one thing you might want to do is make it so those template files are read only so that users cannot edit them. And that way, you know, the template's always going to be static the same every time you utilize it. Therefore, if I were going to do that to this project management temp file, I could go ahead and select it, edit the file. There it is right there. And again, we can go ahead and look at the tasks in this project file. And there's the work breakdown structure. You can see it's a, one of those project management. This is actually one of those default templates that's available from Microsoft. There's my timeline view as well. So what do I do here? There's a deactivate button in that same toolbar we noticed before. We can go ahead and select deactivate. And this is going to set the project to read only. Again, is is it's what we're going to want to do with a template since we're not going to want to update, uh, have other people accidentally update that template. Okay, so that took care of that, and let's go ahead and close out of it to read only. And you know, now we can go ahead and, and do the same thing. And what I did in this particular case is I created a project templates view, and what it did is it just filters for just my project templates. Select the project temp. And I can go ahead and edit this project. And subsequently, I can come in here and copy it. Again, like we said before, it takes a moment to copy it. And since there are a lot of tasks in this project, it's going to take a little bit longer to copy it than it did that previous project that had, I think it was one or two tasks, right? And there we go. So you can see the whole WBS has been copied. Again, the timeline, we can see the Gantt chart and everything. And there you go. So you would do the same thing for your default environment, set it to uh, deactivate it as well, right? So again, to go to the default environment, you would merely go to make.powerapps.com, select the appropriate environment. In this case, my default is LLC upgrade, right? Then you'd find the projects um, app, go ahead and start it up, go in there and deactivate that project and go through the same process. Now that's set for it being a template as well. Uh, that's it for today, folks. Hope you learned something from this video. Again, any comments, questions, or suggestions for future videos, be happy to hear from you. Have a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye.